All right, good morning, happy Thursday. Welcome to our Instagram Live lessons. Hopefully we have some viewers joining us today. We've been talking about being an entrepreneur all week. An entrepreneur, you start your own business. It's kind of fun to be your own boss. Uh, there's lots of different things you can do to start your own business, whether you're in elementary school, junior high, high school, or as an adult. So uh, today what we're talking about, there's a great resource online through ASU that can help you decide, you might have an idea that you want to, you might want to be an entrepreneur, or you might not even know. This, uh, this activity we're gonna to do together kind of walks you through to see what are some areas, what are some career options or interests that you might have that you can then expand on and either build your own business or work in a business like that. Uh, so we'll see if we have anyone joining us yet. Yeah, welcome. All right, so we have Nathaniel joining us. Uh, this is this activity is geared towards you can be a high school student a college student There's also activities for parents or educators. So Nathaniel's gonna be our guinea pig and answer the questions uh, You can find the the link that we're using on our website jaaz.org if you go to our Instagram page and follow along on the calendar of events It's a link to that, but why don't you come on over here and I'll show you. Hi Nathaniel. Thank you for joining us Thank you so much now, uh, we know that you're already in college and you kind of already know what you, wanna, what you wanna study, what you want to do uh, as you get older. But this, I think, will still be really helpful for you because it might give you some ideas that you haven't thought about. Uh, I, I, I like taking online quizzes, so I did this. I just pretended I was a high school student and I took the quiz and it was really spot on. It had some really similar ideas of what I've already done in my life. So I think it might be kind of fun. Are you ready to help us out? Great. And All right, let me turn you around. So uh, let's see. Let me turn you around, Nathaniel. Oh, there. Can you see it? Nathaniel, can you see it? Yeah? There's, let me turn it so it's a little better. Uh, so our viewers at home, are you, you joined us. Who's with us today? We have a few. All right, welcome. I see a thumbs up. Great. So as you can see, uh, if you go to yourfuture.asu.edu backslash me3. So, or even if you just type in ASU me3, you'll be able to find it. Uh, the main, this is the main website, so you can pick if you're a high school student, college student, or parent, educator. It does require you, when you click one of these, it requires, oh, we lost Nathaniel. Uh, there you are. It requires you to have your email and it start it would do a password. So I went ahead and did that already so we could jump and you can go ahead and get started right away. So as you can see, Nathaniel, there'll be some pictures that you're going to tell me which one uh, speaks to you more. Which one are you more interested in? Some might be kind of a stretch, but uh, just go with, go with your gut. Uh, our viewers, if you want to follow along with Nathaniel, um, think about what you would pick. You can always uh, log on to the Me3 and do this game yourself. So, uh, are you ready, Nathaniel? I am. Are you? Am I holding it close enough for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it looks like some sort of scientific measurement. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you know what it is. <laughs> and then some chemistry. So, which one do you want me to click on? Okay, uh, so it looks like some more chemistry and then a whole bunch of computers. Okay, the computers, there we go. All right, take a look at those two. I see a graph and then I just see some art. Someone's making some art. Which one are you more interested in? On the left. Okay, those of you watching at home, uh, when you go ahead and do your your picture game, you'll be able to decide which one uh, you it speaks to you. And you really want to just kind of make the decision and not think too much of it. Just kind of be like, ooh, I like that one. All right, take a look. Tell me which one, Nathaniel. Like the one on the right. All right, more of computer. Uh, computers and, oh, there's that one again. Or it looks like they're making a graph and some charts. Okay, graphs and charts. Okay, looks like this is maybe like some counselor and this is more uh, technical. Okay, all right, we have scientific and we have a police officer. Which one? The scientific one. Would anyone else pick the scientific one? It looks like they're maybe working on a computer board or something. 
All righty. Oh, selling a car or doing some biology? Like biology. Biology. Any, do we have any other biologists? Anyone else interested in doing some experiments? All right. I see the a library or back to this technical, uh, maybe like an engineer or something, hmm? Uh, I do have three. Let's go with the library. All right. Who else would pick the library? Who else would pick some books? Or does someone else want to pick the electric? the electrical computer engineering one. Feel free to comment as we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click the library for you, Nathaniel. Let's see the next one. Oop, there's that computer guy again, and looks like this is in a court room. So maybe uh, someone who's interested in the law or being a judge. Those are very different types of jobs. Uh, what do you think you're more interested in? Uh, computers. computers, there we go. All right, so we have a teacher and we have uh, some uh, medical professionals. Not to say that you want to be a teacher or medical professional, but what kind of ties into what you're interested in or what speaks to you more? Uh, yeah, great. All right, we have uh, some spreadsheets and graphs and we have some art. Uh -huh. Spreadsheets. Okay, hey, do we have any artists out there watching? Anyone that would pick the, the art instead of the spreadsheet? I think I would have to pick making art instead of a spreadsheet, but Nathaniel, that totally fits for you. So I'll go ahead and, and click that for you. Oh, there's the art again. Art, looks like hiking. Ooh, which one? Oop, there we go. Any other hikers out there? Would rather hike than, than paint? Maybe both. All right, there we go. Uh, looks like an, a whole set of computers or writing. Yeah, what I'm noticing about these are definitely left brain and right brain activities. So we have more of the analytical, uh, scientific, and then the more creative. So it's interesting. I think uh, you're more of the analytical, scientific. That's what you lean towards. So that's really interesting. I'm curious what jobs will come out. All right, looks like another uh, educator and then some calculating and more numbers. The math one. You are my math kid. All right. Research or this looks like a drill. Which one? What do you think this is about? It looks like maybe an auto shop. Yeah. What, about, what do you think? Do you think the research for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I thought you said. Okay. So we have uh, police and we have ceramics. Hmm. Now, again, it's not like, oh, I want to be a police officer or I want to make ceramics. It's just like, what, what is more interesting to you? What, what kind of resonates with you more? The okay, there we go. All right, it looks like some food, maybe a chef, and then some, looks like a counselor talking, working out some problems with people. I do really like the food. All right, the cooking. How are we doing on, on our, our watchers here, our viewers? Have you uh, been able to see some of these? Maybe you decide what you're more interested in. All right, we have some chemistry or a camera. The camera. The camera. Okay, there's that ceramics again. It looks like this is a, maybe like in a pharmacy, a chemist. Okay, the chemist. All right, we have a writer or we have someone who's more of a cashier working with people and money? Uh, yeah, okay, great. All right, we have, it looks like another uh, group of people working together. Well, I see some flags in the back, so maybe they're working together, writing some policies or making some decisions. Or here's a lot of uh, computers and working on a, looks like a phone. Which one fits with you better, Nathaniel? All right, uh, looks like fashion or uh, looks like maybe another car salesperson. I'll do the one on the right. All right, not, you don't want to design dresses? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Okay, we have writing and the food again. The food. The food. All right, we have a speaker or a chemist. Definitely the chemist. Okay. 
Uh, the judge or an airplane looks like a pilot. That would be interesting. The pilot? Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, it's not necessarily I want to be a pilot, but like that is interesting to me. Okay, we have some construction, and there's that car salesperson again. <laughs> it keeps popping up. Okay, here we go. Uh, the biologist or the numbers? All righty, we're about halfway done. We have, looks like an electrician and a, or a speaker. Okay, the chemist or a presenter speaking, maybe a teacher. All right, do we have any other people that like to teach or present in front of others? All right, there's the pilot again, and looks like number, number, numbers, a calculator, maybe an accountant or working with, with numbers in some way. Okay, we have the counselor or we have, ooh, like an archeologist. Yes, since I know Nathaniel, I've known him for quite some time. You really did go through a phase where you wanted to be an archeologist, so that's a, that's a fitting one for you. Uh, all right, so it looks like we have more spreadsheets or talking in a group. Okay, we'll get through this one. A speaker or a, looks like a um, maybe a nurse or a healthcare provider. Okay, a guitar or spreadsheet. All right, do we have any other spreadsheet lovers or do we have any musicians out there? Looks like we have quite a few people joining us. We'll just go ahead and click through this so we get your results. Okay, shaking hands or playing a guitar. Okay, uh, what do you see of these two? What do you prefer? Yeah, it looks like maybe um, like an industrial, someone is uh, maybe using fire to make something. Or we have the library. Okay, uh, looks like we have a teacher and then again another presenter in a different way. So kids or adults? Okay, oh, the teacher, whoa, there we go. All right, we have the presenter or the fashion designer. So I know you're not, you don't wanna do the fashion, so I'll click that one. We have an electrician or it looks like someone using uh, it's a calculator, maybe an architect. Which one do you prefer? Okay, uh, we have a drill or a camera? Okay, thank you. We have, looks like uh, some cameras and filming crew or a speaker so do you want to be behind the camera or in front of the camera what would you prefer i prefer being behind the camera behind the camera all right Ooh, looks like we have a scientist or maybe a physical therapist sorry i'm not i'm blocking that for you uh, the one on the right. okay we have a classroom so working with kids or working with adults the classroom. okay we have, again, using uh, more analytical, using your calculator and facts and figures, or working with kids. We're on the right. Okay, we're almost done. We have a real estate agent or a writer. Which one fits into what you're more interested in? Writing. Okay, and again, some of these you might be like, I don't know, not, neither one of them works. You just kind of go with what, what you're interested in. Okay, cameras or uh, microscopes? Okay, uh, we have this physical therapist or behind the camera. Do you wanna go behind the camera again? Yeah. I think the quiz is like, are you sure? We wanna make sure we have it. Okay, so both of these look pretty, uh, you know, like they're analyzing information. So numbers or charts, which one do you want me to click on? Okay. Uh, so we have hiking or classroom. So outside or inside? Outside? Yep. <laughs> okay, the salesperson or a counselor? All right. Hopefully at home, if you're watching, you're trying to, you're deciding which one fits for you. We only have eight left, and then we'll see what suggested jobs we have for Nathaniel. Car salesman or teacher?
And again, it's not that you want those jobs. It's what are those skills or abilities that fit better with you. All right, behind the camera or with kids? Okay, great. Uh, we have spreadsheets and calculators or working on a car? Calculators. Calculators. Archaeologist or real estate agent? Archaeologist. All right. Healthcare provider or more, this looks more like maybe a politician or working, uh, getting along with someone else in your job. The one on the left. The one on the left. Three more. Okay, we have the mechanic or the engineer? The electrical engineer. The one on the left. Okay. We have more calculators or research. Do you want numbers or reading for research? Okay, last one, Nathaniel. We have this group, this counselor, or working uh, like maybe an architect, architect, I can't not talk, architect, or maybe even like construction. Which one would you want me to click on? Okay, you ready? Let's see. Oh, one more. Oh my goodness, I thought we were done. Okay, the presenter with people, or this more looks more like uh, working with just numbers. Okay, here we go. Oh, before we get your career results, we have to fill this in. Uh, so let's see if I can just do this real quick. I didn't realize we had to do this. Sorry, guys. Uh, and let's see if it's going to let us do this. Hold on, Nathaniel. I'm going to put you down real quick. Uh, we're going to put Nathaniel in here. If you haven't had a chance to check this out yet, uh, go ahead and check online. Let's see if this is going to let us do it. Oh my goodness. Here we go. You went to CPA. So this takes a little longer than I anticipated. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. We're going way back uh, to, well, let's just, uh, let's just pick that. That wasn't our school, but I want to get to the results. So go ahead and put your correct information in there. We're just kind of going with the flow. And uh, this should just take a quick second. And we'll see. Okay, here we go. So Nathaniel says, uh, careers you have paired. Congrats. Based on the images you picked, here are three career choices to select from. So we have audiovisual specialist, a technical drafter, or computer support specialist. So it says, don't worry if those careers don't interest you, interest you, you can pick others later. But what I wanted to show you and our, our viewers is that you can see, okay, uh, let's see computer support specialist. Maybe that's something you're like, yeah, that might be something I'm interested in. You can check out the details. Uh, you can see the average pay in Arizona, the average pay nationwide job openings and it looks like a bright outlook a little more information and you can kind of get an idea if that's something you'd be interested in you can also compare it with other careers let me go back to this one uh let's see a technical drafter uh so you can see the average pay the average pay for arizona and nationwide and uh, if you wanted to compare that to another another career you could so a technical drafter draw wiring design, circuit board, assembly design, diagrams, so a bunch of different things like that. Uh, so this is kind of cool, don't you think, Nathaniel? If you didn't have an idea of what you wanted to do, this could give you a few ideas, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's also uh, on the, it's the main website here, if you go to college student, it gives you some other opportunities to fill out and go along. So you see this Me 3 game that we did. It also has find a degree that fits for you. Uh, now this is through ASU, but it definitely would help at any college. Uh, thanks, Nathaniel, for joining us. We'll say goodbye to you now. Thanks. Uh, for our viewers at home, uh, let me go ahead and show you one more thing. Hopefully you found that interesting. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting to see what, what is out there and what, what degree would help you with those jobs. So if you are not sure where I found that, you can definitely go to our online uh, learning platform, jaaz.org, and on, on the link, it has me3.com. I also wanna show you a couple different links that we have on here, talking about entrepreneurs, since that is our theme for the week. So there's um, a USA Today article 
about this six-year-old who created, she's an entrepreneur, she created, uh, it's kind of like a band-aid, but it's a liquid bandage, and she was on Shark Tank for kids. So again, you can find that link on our website. It's a quick read, but it's really interesting to see a six-year-old was able to have an idea and make it work. Uh, there's another article that uh, we have linked on our website. Let me get it for you. It is the history of a post-it note. So if you can, our computer is freezing a little bit, uh, but if you go ahead and go to jaaz.org where I showed you and click on today's activities, it'll, it'll get you right over to the post-it note. It's a story about the man who created, it was kind of an accident and he created the post-it note and we all love post-it notes. So hopefully this gave you some ideas that you can do online, me three through ASU and click on all those pictures and see what, what jobs come about for you. And if that leads you to be an entrepreneur, that's great. If it leads you to working for a company, that's great as well. There's a lot of things in the world that you can do. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next week.